question. No, what I want to have a look at today is a question that I got posed this morning in Euro stocks in particular. So we'll go and look at that. And what I want to try and do is then towards the end actually take you through how your decision is going to shift as the day goes on. So question is, are we on a liquidation day or a trend day? Now, the start of any kind of thought process like this needs to start from a point of, well, what do you know about liquidation days? What do you know about trend days? How do they typically come about? What do they look like when they're happening? That's, that's what you really need to be able to then break it down and say, okay, well, this looks like a trend day. This looks like a liquidation day and make your decisions accordingly. So let's go and have a look at some of the key characteristics, some of the things you want to be considering beforehand. Now, a trend day is a very, very tricky thing to call beforehand. Ultimately, for a trend type day to happen, what you need is you need other participants to come in. When I say other participants, what I mean by that is larger time frame participants, people who are going to continue to buy and buy and buy or sell and sell and sell all day long. Keep that move going. Now, that's very hard to predict. You can't tell whether some hedge fund, bank, mutual fund, whoever it is, is going to decide that today's the day that they are going to start buying or they are going to start selling. So it's very difficult to predict a trend. Once the trend starts though, there are very key characteristics. There are times where you can start to think, yeah, a trend is likely, particularly as you get out of a, an area where a market has been consolidating and you're continuing in that direction. If you're interested in something like that, go back and have a look at the 27th of May on a chart. Give you a really good example of, look at it in European equities. Um, <coughs> good example of a situation where you're already on a move up. We then have a phase of consolidation, break out of that and trend ensues. Very similar to what you'd see on maybe a five minute move where you see a move up, consolidation, continuation. So a trend is quite difficult to predict but it has hallmarks, it has characteristics once it starts. A liquidation move, on the other hand, is a little bit more easy, not to predict necessarily, but to be able to say, right, at this point, I could be looking for a liquidation type move. Is it happening? So that then means that before anything happens, you already are starting to think about these possibilities. You've got to ask yourself, is there any reason for a liquidation? Now, you're not going to have a liquidation if you haven't had a phase of positioning. So that phase of positioning is going to be where the market has perhaps moved to a new area. You're getting people trying to buy to continue the move. I'm referencing Euro stocks here to continue that move, but not getting anything for it. You've therefore got positions that are trapped effectively. They are then going to run for the exit. So you could potentially have a liquidation. The next thing is then once the day starts, actually asking yourself, have you got the characteristics of either or any? So characteristics, small initial balance. As soon as you've got that, you should straight away be starting to think, yep, we have now got potential, potential, remember, for a trend or maybe a liquidation type day. And the next stage of the move is going to be the one that tells you whether this is trend or whether this is liquidation. So, small IB. Then it's a case of what happens next and which is this likely to be. So, on a fast move out of the IB, particularly if this breaks a very clear level, when I'm saying clear level, I'm thinking something on perhaps a 15 minute or an hourly chart, a point where you, you could quite easily say, if I was long in that area, I'd put my stop below there. So an area that it'd be quite obvious for stops to be below. Fast early move through there, that's more of an indication of a liquidation type day. And so you should then be following on and expecting the, the according price action following that. With a trend type move, more likely what you will actually have is as the move begins, you won't necessarily see a huge early move, but it will still have a very clear push in one direction. And it will then, rather than just drop very fast and stall, 
it will have phases where as it stalls it will just absorb everything that bounces up let's say we're on the way down anything that bounces up will just run into more and more and more selling this will create a tight range small flag on a five minute or one minute for example and then you'll get another push lower and again this will be quite quick but it won't then continue 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 instead what will happen is as it bounces you'll see the selling pressure moves lower that will be an indication of a trend that the sellers are progressively moving down rather than just chasing each time they sell once they can't sell any more they'll push down until they find a new buyer and then sell to them once that first part of moves begun and you can then start saying okay well maybe this is more liquidation compared to trend or the other way around you're then looking at rotations so what happens on any kind of movement back? Are we getting back through the recent support? Having broken support, do we, do we then use that as resistance to hold lower or are we rotating back through it? And that way you're starting once again to suggest that this is liquidation. We're going to see this balancing out at the bottom of day. Whereas if any support becomes resistance, on a sort of short term, I'm thinking like a five minute chart or even a one minute chart, if that support becomes resistance, that's now saying to you that having you having that support held originally, once it's broken, now the sellers are using that to sell below. And that would be more an indication of trend and potential continuation of movement. The last thing to look out for is LVNs getting filled in. So low volume nodes. They start getting filled in this is more an indication of liquidation that after that first move that creates these little patches of low volume the market then starts to rotate back up and fill those areas in indicating that there's no more selling coming in down at those areas so let's go and have a little look at what we could have gleaned beforehand then as the move begins then the continuation and then I'll take you through on a one minute chart actually what you might be thinking at any phase during this so this is before the day begins so based on yesterday and what we got yesterday is pretty much a liquidation type move higher this is a, a classic sort of p-shaped looking profile single print fast move higher as any shorts in this range get pushed out this has then got you up into the range that we had following payrolls and into sort of the, the second week of February, uh, not February, June, but we are still remaining inside channel. So the, the move up has got some shorts out, but has not really then progressed, meaning that what you're then gonna get is more longs building up in this area, looking at 57, 59 area as support, that as long as we're staying above there, this could continue. You get a weak close, which also suggests that having had this liquidation move up, you've not actually had a great deal of buyers keep going on that move and they've not been able to, to sort of hold the market up instead they've become quite weak towards the end of the day so potential liquidation you could see the longs that accumulate up here up here above 59 above 54 was the low that we sort of tipped back to as you break those areas then we could see acceleration down as those longs come out. Trend, as I say, very, very difficult to predict because you don't know whether someone is going to come in and start to sell this or whether it is just going to be liquidation and no new sellers come in. That's a question once the move starts. So here's your initial move down. So we start off relatively tight initial balance. Initial balance around about 10 ticks, we get a test higher towards the bottom of value. This is a good sign for a move lower because with this test higher, what you're finding out is that buyers don't want to keep this going. That was what they were trying to do yesterday and didn't do a good job. Today, they equally don't do a good job of it. And so now, once you break through 54, out the bottom of the IB, through the lows that we established on the previous days, sort of rotation after a liquidation move up, this is where we could see the liquidation down. 
and initially this is just what you get very quick move down this would be an indication that perhaps this is a bit of a liquidation type move straight back to where this move originated from down at 32 as well so target wise if you're just playing for that break and liquidation you get a pretty fast move from 54 down to 50 uh, 32 an indication that this could be a liquidation and now you'd be looking then for this to just fill out down here rotate in this range but what happens is we then get a lot of absorption here if anyone who's watching euro stocks earlier wouldn't get back up above 35 one tiny little spike and then the move continues further so on that initial move down we've looked liquidation like very early on but what this has done is it's brought in new sellers which is giving then the sense that maybe this does have some trend in it for this to be trend what you're then looking for is that once this absorption phase is gone and we start the next move down that it does push through lows and keep going and then fall into another absorption phase and that's what we get so this is where we just were we move down we fall into another absorption phase and we hold below these previous lows good news for trend not wonderful trend looking move you would perhaps ideally want to see less of a bounce here this has been quite a large bounce 10 all the way up to 30 is taking back quite a significant amount of the move so the way that you might be thinking about this is this does look liquidation like but has brought in new sellers so those new sellers now need to keep this going to keep it looking trend like from a profile here this is looking reasonably trendy you got high volume low volume high volume low volume high volume that's quite trend like liquidation moves will drop put in a higher volume and use then that to rotate around and perhaps fill in this area so it's looking slightly more trend like the other hallmarks of trend as well that we are holding below previous uh, uh, support you can see here these two support lines and crucially the LVNs as well we hold on the initial move on the second move and on the third so that's all looking good however we then start to see danger and the danger comes in that we are now breaking above the LVN we are now breaking above this recent support Delta is turning as well so you're not seeing this Delta continue on let's take it back to the 27th of May because I referenced that earlier Delta went up with the European equity move all day long you're not seeing that here Delta a couple of times has managed to bounce within this move whereas if this was going to trend down you'd expect Delta to be continuing down so right now I'd perhaps be slightly more inclined to think that this is now more looking like a liquidation and then a balancing type day as opposed to a continued trend down doesn't mean you can't play for the trend if you're playing for the trend as you start coming back through this LVN this is the area you start ending up getting stopped out on it not a bad result so what should you be thinking as this progresses as this happens well I'll bring you in a chart and what we'll do here is we'll grab the profile and we'll take it back so that you see how the day progresses so this little line here that's moving whoops and showing how that profile is developing imagine that that's where you are on the current day so we're moving forward we've been inside the initial balance we've just tried to get above the initial balance here up towards 67 back inside the IB and you can see then that 54 is your point of interest break 54 53 52 area then you could see a liquidation move this is where you're expecting a faster move down You get to that point delta drops quite quickly volume picks up fast move down and then we start to build a little bit of volume down here so right now you're thinking liquidation bit of balance maybe there's not a great deal more in this but then the selling continues and keeps to push us keeps pushing us down and we then start to hold below 38 where that LVN is and start to push value much much lower 
this shift of VPOC down here is a good sign. This is an indication that yes, maybe this is becoming trend-like. And what you're looking for now is the, and the key bit here is you now need to see this push through the lows. This goes through the low down here and then rotates back up. Then this could now be your balance. And we're just gonna rotate between sort of 42 and 25. Instead though, we push through another low volume node at 26 and we start to build more volume down here. Good sign. So now from the profile that you can see on the left, we've got these two distinct high volume nodes. While stay and with a low volume node in the middle at around about 26, previous support coming in at around 28. So you've got a little zone of resistance. Whilst below there, trend can continue. So you'd be thinking, okay, as long as we're staying below 26, 28 area, trend can continue. If you start getting above there, then this is more looking like a rotation and we're then gonna trade in this zone here between sort of 35 and 20. Move continues, value continues to build lower and then you get the next push down. And so I'll move this forward a little bit for you and I might have to scrunch the chart slightly so you can see where we're actually then getting to. And what then follows on from here is then another phase of consolidation lower holding below previous support and LVN. Trend is still alive here. But whilst this is happening, you can see Delta starting to rise. So this is a little bit of a worrying phase. And then we start getting back above 14 and you start to see that low volume node that's at 14 start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And we start looking like we're balancing this out a bit more. Bring this forward. I have to widen the chart slightly. Bring this forward to where we are now. And you'll notice this area down here starts getting filled in. And we're starting to move that VPOC back up. So this is now looking less trend-like. This is still a zone that needs filling in slightly. So trade back into this area, down between sort of nine and 14 is still potential. We're already moving back to VWAP, which is another suggestion this perhaps doesn't have trend in it. The, the big question you've got to ask yourself now is, we looked trend-like, we've now started to not look trend-like, and this looks like a balancing day. What's gonna be really important is back into this zone now, get back in here, and move very quickly through. So don't spend time filling it in. Trend could still be on. If though we move back into this zone and this starts getting filled in, it's now looking a lot more like a balancing type day that this will then balance out to create a, P, a B shape, classic liquidation type profile. So that's the kind of thought process you need to be taking on as the day progresses and start thinking about where exactly we could get to. On the way down initially, you, in here you're thinking, right, as long as you stay below 38, trend is potential, and if it doesn't break, then you start thinking, okay, liquidation. Once it breaks, you're now starting to think, yep, another trend is potentially on, as long as we don't get back above 28. We break, good news, then though, we're not seeing this sort of continued move down. It becomes a lot more sideways straight after the break. That's not a great sign. And also, we then start to move back up. That's your indication that this is perhaps dead now and that they we're more looking at a B-shaped day. So it will then help you sort of manage your expectations. That's key on this. So hopefully that's helped in terms of the thought process as to what's going on as you move through different phases of the market.